How's it going everybody out there in the Vile Community? This is Mike or Soldier 777 coming at you all. Uh, I just figure I'd show you a little video um, about some thoughts I have. Um, I'm not going to show any um, music today. I figure I'd take a break from that. And I just want to say uh, I'm grateful that uh, Black Star Vinyl has recommended for people to sub to my channels. I uh, greatly appreciate that, Rob. Uh, you're a great guy, and I do enjoy watching your videos. Um, my videos were stuck at from around 16 or 15 for a while, and for today, for some reason, shut up at the 29 subs. So it's like a growth of 13, which is, that was really cool. And I think that's because of you, you Rob, where you recommended uh, some subs to uh, people to, to uh, sub to my channel. I think uh, Mark C with a G and Brennan Van D subscribed. I think Headbang Zulu subscribed too. I think uh, and some and ten other ones. So I thank you all for that. Um, um, that kind of thing. So and me being uh, adopting mostly a Christian worldview. I mostly listen to Christian music mostly. Um, like I guess, um, what it boils down to, we, we buy music that we're comfortable with, and I've always been more comfortable buying uh, pro Christian music or Christian oriented music or Christian rock. Uh, even though uh, a lot of bands that are predominantly have Christian lyrics and Christian words, uh, ranging from having band members who are all Christian, or having members of a band that a uh, couple of them are Christians and they may hire people around Christians, but the lyrical content and the music. I guess lyrical content is written from Christian worldview. I guess example of that would be probably be uh, Impel Terry or um, or um, Ken Tamplin. Uh, it's two examples of that. Or there's a lot of bands who are like Christian evangelical bands, but they may hire a sister musician or a backup singer who may not be a Christian. And as we know, in a lot of the Nashville-based uh, bands, uh, they would. Um, the, 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 the four or five main members of the band is Christian. They may hire an additional uh, session a musician or lead singer or have a producer produce the album who may not be Christian. Uh, so I think the, I think the, um, the line between Christian and non-Christian is kind of thin because just because a band is Christian and like Petra or Striper, uh, they may hire a additional guest member uh, for that for the, or guest musician for that period it might be a Christian so I just figured to mention that too as well so and um, like I said I'm not against all secular music um, where I don't think all secular music is bad it depends on the band that's what way I see it and same thing that all Christian music is good where you may have a band who's a Christian band uh, but um, there's certain uh, theology they adopt uh, that don't make sense to me or, or is not biblical so I kind of like, you know, um, and I'm very liberal when it comes to music. I kind of, I like all cons. I mean, I like, you know, Queen, Iron Maiden, Bruce Springsteen, um, Metallica, uh, Jews Priest, uh, Def Leppard, Scorpions. So I like, you know, a different uh, types and variety of separate music like I do like different types of Christian music. But my main focus is hard rock and metal. That's my, uh, that's my main um, uh, focus. Uh, which I like hard rock, um, uh, commercial metal or glam metal, um, shred, technical metal, prog metal, and power metal, and a little bit of thrash. That's my main focus in terms of music. And these are usually the classic variety or, or old school stuff. So, yeah. And, um, and uh, also, too, um, uh, I know Ron Wall mentioned the uh, fact in his, one of his last videos. Um, where I mentioned in the previous video where I uh, had experience of going to different bookstores and some of them would have the hard rock metal, the, the Christian bookstores uh, or the music stores in the back and some would have it up front. And although Ron mentioned too, I forgot to mention this, reminded me that uh, when a band would, uh, when it, sorry, when a new album come out, uh, you can listen to music on a, on a demo CD or tape. Uh, at the uh, music listening booth and of course the secular stores had that way back in the day too like uh, Music Roll and other places like that did the same thing where you can listen to an album if you like you can go buy it uh, before you actually buy it so 
uh, I had that in our I had that option that with our local stores um, uh, in throughout the place I visit as well so uh, as well so yeah and uh, that kind of thing and also uh, Ron well I know me and you're working on some kind of a trade uh, so I'm um, so got you in mind with with uh, the stuff I'm trying to sell a trade so let me know when you get a chance to go through your inventory and uh, see what you want to do with your any duplicates or uh, original pressings or new reader shoes that you have you might want to part with so I'm waiting on you for that to uh, run no pressure dear bud so yeah and um, anyway keep the video I figure keep the video short I'm trying to think of what else I can mention and I got some good news today regarding my uh, special needs son as you may know uh, my son's autistic he's nonverbal and he's a lot of help with different things and he was in the, in the alternate living arrangement for about a year didn't work out and came back to live with us uh, I've gotten word uh, where we went to a, um, a one of those homes where he's the only one there at home. Maybe a two on one, two workers that work with him. I got word now he's going to be going to a group home, and with different workers working with him. So I'm really pleased about that. Uh, they accept him. So I guess between now and the, between now and the next month or so, uh, we're going to be transitioning him into a different home living arrangement. Because uh, I took time off work to look after him. So during that time, I'll be going back to work full time, and uh, he'll be in someone else's care, and I'll be going up on visits with him, and he'll probably be coming over to our house every Sunday for uh, Sunday dinners, uh, which he was doing when he was living in the other home. So I'm, re I'm really pleased about that. So, um, and I believe that'd be a very nice arrangement for him, and he can go out in the community and do different things, and still go to school. He's still in school right now. He knows 20. And that kind of thing. So it'd be, I think it'd be wonderful for him to have that uh, option for him. So I'm really pleased about that. So uh, that's another bit of good news I got besides those subs. So I'm really, I'm really pleased. Um, anyway, so guys, uh, I'm going to leave this uh, video there now. It's gone over seven minutes long now. So I really thank you for the subs. And um, and I'm going to be showing some more videos in the next day or two or three. Um, and if you don't see me um, uh, posting videos in a while, this just means you ran out of ideas. Uh, sometimes I may take a break from making videos uh, because I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know what to uh, talk about, more or less. Uh, I'm going to continue on with that uh, collection of videos uh, going through the alphabet. Uh, they'll, be, they'll be periodically being, being shown in my videos because uh, I figured it'd be a good way to start. I may, I may interrupt that by showing other ideas on my videos as well. So, yeah. And um, I've been checking out some, um, watching some videos today, and I'm going to be checking out some new ba new bands or different bands uh, than what I'm normally into. I do know I'm going to check into the band uh, Ritual Servant, which is a Christian power thrash band, and um, another band called Haven. I, I'm i checking into them, kind of on the fence about them. I know they're an old band was back, back in their late, uh, sorry, early 90s, late 80s. And uh, I'm trying to get into them. They're a really good band, but something better doesn't vibe with me. You know how you try to get into a band and really want in that band, but something, something about that band don't uh, connect with you. That's why I feel about Buff Haven. Uh, I find that um, I do like the music. It's great music, just not enough to buy it. And you know how you know how you go, how you feel about you're kind of on a fence. You know that you know if I buy it, well I like it. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel about certain bands. I'm very, I'm very picky about what I'm into or get into. So yeah, they have three albums, I believe, to, to date, and I believe the uh, lead singer has a um, has a solo album, I do believe. So yeah, I should definitely be checking out that uh, that band as well. So, and I do uh, watch your videos to uh, recommendations of the of what other bands I can get to as well. So, and also want to mention too that um, um, to support, there's five uh, places I buy music. I encourage anybody to check out these areas, uh, the, which is mostly mostly Christian hard rock and metal. It's Boone's Overstock, uh, 777 Music, uh, Rocks Productions, and they have three stores on Rock Productions. Uh, I said 777 Boone's Rocks, Gerder Music, and Brent's Christian Rock and Metal. You can just type in Brent's Christian Rock and Metal or Brent's Music List, and then he's Brent Miller, Miller, I think he lives in Missouri. And he's also a great guy to deal with as well. And all these guys focus mostly on the Christian hard rock metal and rock, uh, but they have some mainstream second music on their, on their sites as well. Uh, so you might want to check th out those guys as well. Um, and uh, and I've, ordered, I've ordered music from 
I believe most of these places, except for, I don't think I've ordered from 7 7 Music before, but I've ordered music from all these other places. They're great to deal with. They really accommodating. They'll, they'll, and they'll work with you and uh, answer any questions, that kind of thing. So if you want to support uh, those of you who want to support Christian music, uh, or mostly Christian music, these are the places five stores to go to. Um, and they have a great selection of all kinds of music. Uh, I know 7 7 Music has a, has a variety of different styles. And, um, and I think Brent does too. Uh, but I think the other ones mostly focus on the rock, high rock, and metal. So yeah. So definitely check out these other uh, stations if you want to expand. You might be a, you, know, you, you may not be a Christian yourself. But you want to like you know check into the Christian music. I know some of those people think you know Christian music is kind of cheesy. Uh, they sing about la la la. Everything's great. God is good. Uh, but a lot of bands too in Christian music sing about struggles and temptation and that uh, and depression and uh, world issues and, and but it's from a Christian worldview. So that's what I like about the uh, Christian music. I want I don't want to hear uh, preaching music all the time or music that's, that talks about things that everything's all happy, go lucky. Let's sit by campfire, sing come by. I like to sing. I like listening to issues as well myself. Uh, you know, um, uh, you know that kind of thing. I mean, I like to listen to what people are saying, what's trying to do, uh, write about the lyrics as well. So anyway, guys. Um, anyway, again, thanks for everything. Description subscriptions. Um, keep the views coming and. Um, and all the best and have a great day. Bye now.